What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing chapter 22, problem 1 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition, by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Uh, chapter 22 is all about electric fields, and in problem 1, we are actually given a figure. Um, it's similar, here, I'll just draw a simplified version, where we have uh, an electric field and field lines that go like this. Something like that. And we have a point in here. We'll call that point one. We have a point over here. We'll call that point two. And in part A, we are asked what, um, what the force of a proton is at point one, or the magnitude of the force on a, yeah, a proton at point one, if the magnitude of the electric field at that point is 40 newtons per coulomb. So we know that the force on a proton is equal to uh, the charge constant times the electric field and that's going to be 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th times the uh, field which we're told is 40 but oh uh, in the figure we are told that the field lines go are like the uh, field travels that to the um, left it goes um, yeah, in the negative x direction. So we actually need to account for that here and say that the electric field is negative 40. And so when you put that in your calculator, you should get negative 6.4 times 10 to the negative 18th newtons. You just got to really make sure you include that, the direction of the field. And for part B, um, we are asked what the magnitude is, um, what we were, we were asked the magnitude of the field at point two. And we are told in the problem that these field lines are twice as, um, there's the space between them is twice as much as point one. And that means that the field is going to be half as strong. But, and we are also asked for the magnitude, so we, it's always going to be positive. And so we know that at point 1, it's 40. So if we just divide that by 2, at point 2, it's going to be 20 uh, newtons per coulomb. Alright, so that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.